Anderson clean power wash, Salisbury, Maryland. We had to take our booster pump out today. Uh, pressure switch wasn't shutting the pressure off, uh, which obviously is an issue. And we'd gone through a bunch of troubleshooting, and what we have found, kind of an issue here. And sorry, it's I'm zooming in the right spot. But look, we literally have pinhole there, and actually looks like almost another one right there. Little focusing on it but water literally is coming out of there um obviously for a bunch of reasons we're gonna go ahead and take that off um we're gonna try and see how we can do this to minimize the amount of removals we'll take the pro switch off here um disconnect the jumper or sorry yeah we'll disconnect the pro switch off that keep all the wiring and everything done and then take this off we'll be able to take these fittings off take this end off and we're going to just put we've got another three-quarter booster in there and we'll order a new um, housing unit i believe this is our second one um but it, whether it was just bleach sitting in the line too long or what i mean it's pretty crazy that it it did eat through there it'll be interesting to see how it looks inside there once we get it open um again this why we do a couple of our fittings the way we do that's just a single just shoving that on there and then this one for our outlet we'll show you inside the box here we have that with a garden hose fitting so we can just take that on and off this quite frankly I'd, I'd like to have it as a screw on and off that way we can just take just undo two fittings we have the actual thing is not mounted in there it's on its own little plate um, so that makes it easier to take in and out. We don't have to undo four bolts to get it in and out of there. Um, makes serviceability much simpler. So again, we'll take this off. And Mike's taking care of Well, You see the other booster sitting up top there. So we'll get it done.